How do we create inroads to a better future? How do we maintain the existing ones? How do we involve communities in infrastructure, create new jobs and skills, and at the same time make this sustainable? Teach local communities to manufacture a quality cold mix asphalt, compliant with TRH-8 specifications, then repair or maintain our provincial or municipal secondary road network is based on five core fundamentals to maximize the labor component to comply with the recognized and roadstone lbs filler and bitumen emulsion buckets are pre-cut to avoid any unnecessary measuring and thereby ensuring consistency with every mix is manufactured by mixing a combination of crusher sand roadstone and bitumen emulsion Buckets are pre-cut to avoid any unnecessary measuring and thereby ensuring consistency with every mix. Component only the standard asphalt to be sourced locally, thereby minimizing the associated transportation costs and supporting local economies. The buckets filled with sand and stone are piled together, then mixed until they become one consistent color. This dry mix is then opened up to create a dam. The bitumen used to bind the mix is an anionic stable grade bitumen emulsion. The pile is mixed again thoroughly until all the aggregate is fully coated. This mix can either be bagged and sealed or taken direct to site for use. The has been designed to be community based with a high labor component value between 12% to 20%. A team of 14 people is capable of producing 15 tons of mixed asphalt per day. The bitumen is a water-based emulsion and has no pungent smell. No heating is required during the preparation or application of the mix, which makes it safe for handlers and the environment. Only basic tools and equipment are needed to apply the asphalt to the road surface. Wheelbarrows, shovels, grooves, metal rakes, levels and thickness guides. In fact, the only machinery required is a vibratory pedestrian asphalt roller used for the compaction of the asphalt. The road surface should be firm, well compacted and swept free of loose material. Although the self-priming a prime or tack coat is recommended to improve the bonding of the asphalt with the base. Thickness guides are then placed where the road will be surfaced. Water is lightly applied to the base with freestanding water being swept off. The prepared asphalt mix is then spread within the guides and leveled to a 30 mm loose depth. Water is lightly applied to the wheel drums of the roller as lubrication to prevent the asphalt from sticking to the drums. The asphalt roller compacts the asphalt using vibration to eliminate the voids in the loose asphalt and also to flush the fine particles to the surface. The compacted surface is then rolled again without vibration. Once a brown soupy-like slush appears on the surface, OMC has been achieved. This moisture will evaporate as the bitumen oxidizes and breaks, transforming the brown surface into a 25 mm compacted black asphalt surface. A team of 10 people is capable of surfacing 300 square meters of road per day. Depending on the scope of work and time frames required to complete the work, the size of the teams can be adjusted accordingly. 